Welcome back, I'm Chris, one of the surveyors here at Red Current, and today we're going to be talking about the Fleur C2. To turn the camera on, the power button is at the top here. This long button here is for taking images. Looking at the back of it, we have the thermal image lens, the normal lens for the visual camera, and the LED for the flash. While turning the camera on, there's a boot up loading screen. Once it's booted up, it'll look a little bit like this. Tapping on the screen will bring up the menu. Here you have review, image mode, measurements, colour palette, lamp and settings. Review will just bring up the images you recorded. Image mode allows you to set the alignment distance for MSX, choose whether you want thermal MSX or just a thermal camera, or also a digital camera to take normal images. The measurement setting will let you choose whether you want a centre spot or no measurement. The colour option will give you a choice of three colour palettes, iron, rainbow, rainbow high contrast and grayscale. The lamp will let you choose whether you want a flash, the light always on or the light never on and clicking on the cog will bring up the settings of the camera. Measurement parameters brings up the emissivity menu where there is three presets and a custom value to be used dependent on the surface material and the surface finish of the object you are measuring the temperature of. You can enter in the reflected temperature and set the distance to the object you are measuring the temperature of. This is different to the MSX distance. Save options gives you the choice to save a photo as a separate JPEG when recording a radiometric image. Device settings allows you to change the language, the time and the units of the camera. In here you have the option of language, temperature units, distance, time and date, and time and date format. Reset options will allow you to reset the camera to default mode. Reset device settings to factory default will allow you also to reset the image count and delete all saved images if there are any images saved on the camera. Auto orientation, this is just an on off function. Auto power off, this is off in this case, but there are a variation of 5 minutes, 10 minutes and 20 minutes I believe. Display intensity and camera information. Under camera information, it will give you information on the model, the serial number, the part number, the software, the storage. In this case it says zero, but it would normally be 165 megabytes, the lens fitted and the battery level. Going back to the main menu, there's just one last feature I'd like to show you, and that is the scale locking. To the right hand side you'll see the scale of what you're looking at. As you pan around the room, you'll notice the scale changes. If you tap on this scale, it will lock this scale. Notice how it goes grey with padlocks. As you pan back round, it will give you a lock scale and will give you a good comparison of what's going on at what you're looking at rather than changing the scale to what is in the field of view. So, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see some more, hit subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching.